Oh no, morning. Well, hey guys, what's up? Ba, ba, ba. Welcome to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Robert French, aka Red Five French. And uh, we're going to be hanging out on planet Earth. Gosh, it's been a little while. I had to look up, see what episode I was on. I wasn't even sure it's been so long. Um, haven't talked to you guys since, I guess, Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody had, you know, a great holiday. And uh, Happy New Year. Welcome to the future. It's been a long time. Oh, cool. Got us a new president. Happy about that. And speaking of new... Her pants. No wonder he's into her jeans. Uh, speaking of new, it's Friday. That means it's new game Friday. Now I know this isn't a new game. New game Friday isn't necessarily about new games. It is just about new games in my library. However, this is a sort of a new release for the. PS4 like download. So I went ahead and uh, I did download this game recently. Uh, got a cool gift card from my buddy for my birthday. It was my birthday? No, it was Christmas. Uh, from my buddy Andrew, hooked me up. So I went ahead and downloaded this game. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Scott Pilgrim a little bit before I dive into the video game. Uh, because this has been, um, oh really, does this just want to keep happening every time? I don't want to talk over this music, man. But like, again, where, where are her pants? That's so crazy. I was first introduced to Scott Pilgrim through the movie, which I'm sure everybody's seen. Uh, it was one of my favorite films, still is. Uh, it kind of blew my mind back in 2010, and I still like watching it. Uh, I was a huge fan of the director, uh, Edgar Wright, which I don't know if you know who he is. I'll throw out there Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and he was supposed to actually direct Ant-Man. Um, sorry, just reading this real quick. But yeah, he was supposed to, to uh, direct Ant-Man, and uh, he had a kind of like a falling out with Marvel. And I think he went on to direct Scott Pilgrim. Uh, but he's actually had some contact with uh, the MCU recently. Egg uh, Wright, that is. And I think he might be coming back. Uh, who knows? We'll see what happens with that. But at any rate, his, uh, his movie just absolutely blew me away. Uh, I can't say enough about it. Um, It was one of those things, like, a friend of mine was telling me about it, uh, being a fan of the director. And uh, the more I heard about it, the more excited I got about it. I went to go see it. And, you know, it was comic books, video games, uh, you know, action, comedy, everything I kind of want in a movie. And just visually amazing, stunning. The soundtrack was just perfect. And I had never read the... Uh, graphic novel, but going back and reading the graphic novel after, great casting as well. Um, like I said, just great music, soundtrack, the whole nine. Um, kind of like leaving the theater, I felt like what they must have felt like watching Wizard of Oz for the first time, where you have this black and white film, and all of a sudden you're kind of like shotgun blasted with color and song and dance. And, uh, just really, really cool stuff. Um, love Michael. Sierra as well. At any rate, went back, like I said, read the graphic novel. And that was a really fun book. Uh, I had it on my iPhone, which I still have an old iPhone around here somewhere, put the graphic novels on there. And to me, that was just a really fun uh, kind of sit back, drink a soda, eat some chips, Doritos, whatever, and read that book. So, um, long story short, though, every time I would watch the movie, revisit the film, or read these books, it would always make me want to play a side-scrolling beat-em-up game like I would hunt on my phone for an app, and it always take me to kind of like, you know, again, those Streets of Rage, um, 
you know, side scrolling kind of beat em up, these cutesy characters, but nothing quite like Scott Pilgrim. So, when I, uh, first started with Average Show, when I found out this was going to be available, um, I got super, super duper excited. So, oh, this is cool. This is kind of laid out like, uh, Super Mario, what, I guess, three? That's really fun. I've always been a big fan, like I said, of these kind of games. Uh, Golden Axe, Double Dragon, Streets of Rage was always a favorite. You got a punch action, kick, jump. Alright, let's see what we got here. You can use the analog stick or the directional pad. I think I'm going to use the directional pad. The analog stick seems a little sensitive. Oh, oh, these guys are going crazy. Hmm. Oh, no, no, come on. Do, 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 jump. There we go. That was one of the things I loved about the, uh, the movie, was all the coins. Oh, go for it. at it with all the coins always falling out of the characters as uh you beat them up let's go little bus fare there can you go into these buildings no probably not all right so so far i'm liking the graphics i like the style and this is exactly what i was looking for like i said i would hop on my phone and try to find something along these lines. There we go. Fight trash with trash. I feel like your hitbox is kind of wide open. Which is very also reminiscent of some retro gaming. I feel like it's kind of best to actually play this sort of arcade style, multiple fingers. money in there but you can't really get to it. Oh we got a little baseball bat action here. There we go. Very much like uh double dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mention look forward to some trouble trouble double dragon action. Coming pretty soon. This is kind of uh, simplistic here. Go. You got it. Oh, look at all that change. Now we're talking. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's a hole. I'm sitting there looking at my health. And, uh, walked right into that hole. The random hole of the video games. Again, I feel like that's another, uh, trope from, like, Double Dragon, Streets of Rage. There we go. Oh, who's this big guy? There we go. Four, four plus X triangle. Utilizing the block like I should be. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty nice. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Use some of these instruments in your uh, in your environment here. There we go. 
Oh yeah, so so far I'm pretty impressed. I think I, uh, I didn't, well, I didn't pay anything. Like I said, I used a gift card, but I think the download for this was like fourteen ninety nine, which I mean, I don't see how you can go wrong with that. So I guess you can't really get those things in there. Those, those are just fun things to kind of look at. Oh! Oh wow, what is this? Okay. <clears throat> I thought that was going to be like a uh, Final Destination moment there. Anytime I can uh, get a, you know, a great old school kind of game like this on the PS4, I'm always all over it. Uh, you know, some old Nintendo, DuckTales uh, type games, and Ubisoft did a great job uh, with this title. Lee Yu is a director, Caroline Martin, producer, and uh, just some great, some great art. This uh, this game, very retro, very cool, very fluid. And uh, so I think, like, anything that works on multiple platforms where you have uh, the comics, video games, movies, I, I feel like the comic should make you want to play the games. The game should make you want to play the comics and watch the movies. You know, it should all intertwine and work like that. And I, this is definitely, like, I want to go back and, and read some of those books now. I want to go watch the movie again. And then I feel like after I finish watching the movie, I'm just going to want to, you know... Back. Really, a sand bucket? So I'm gonna come back and play this some more. Oh wow, these guys are messing me up. Here we go, get that jump action in. Some space, here we go. Oh, mm, turn around, dude. Yeah, this reminds me of the scene here in the movie where uh, him and Yona are hanging out on their first date. Is that her name? uppercut. That basic, just simple. So many games nowadays, you know, they're so much so complex and so like over the top. And I was playing some Fortnite earlier. He's got to smash so many buttons. It's so great just to kind of like be able to hop into something. And you know, um, Ramona, Ramona Flowers. That's what it is. I'm like Fiona. No, it's not. It's Ramona Flowers. Oh, no, Fiona Flowers. Fiona Apple. <laughs> But yeah, it's just nice to be able to hop into something, just kind of button smash, and uh, have a good time. There's so many games that are so complex today, just over the top. And, yeah. There's already so many buttons on the freaking controller as it is. Oh, I thought that was going to happen. Okay, just going to be something like this. Some of the other games like this, if you guys uh, want to comment down in the comment section below and let me know, like some of these side scroller beat em ups, some of your favorites from the 80s and 90s. I 
Because I think my all-time favorite was, uh... Streets of Rage. And none of the sequels, like the, the original. That's... Wait, I think it's just on Brawl on this dude. That's pretty cool. Or you can use the Umbrella on people. Almost like 20 bucks, let's get it. Ooh. I'm not sure about some of these icons, this fire icon up here at the top. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Oh, I don't like fight dogs. It's never been a favorite of mine, fighting animals in, in video games. Not because I, I can't do it, just because I don't like fighting dogs. like they're being controlled by someone else and poor animals they don't know what they're doing man these guys probably were just taught me these guys to be bad I hate beating up animals in video games that's why I like Sonic Sonic was always about freeing the animals from inside the robots and stuff like that I like these little icons that can pop up these little like emoji faces oh dude come on I just got that Penguin impersonation here with my trick umbrella. Oh, what? That was kind of weird. Ooh, nice. Oh, so we got this guy. Plus this guy here. <clears throat> Ooh, R into the dirty trick. Hmm. Nice, there we go. Alright. Like boost hit coins. Is this like I guess is this what Canada? So that's pretty pretty clever. Oh, cool. All right. What is this? I am literally tripping out. Is this like a? What am I supposed to do? Oh, let me get my shadows lined up. There we go. Oh, so, okay, I got you. A little bonus stage. This was tripping me the F out, you guys. Get the shadows lined up. Best way to do it. There we go. Is this supposed to look like this? I don't know. I feel like that was, might have been a little, a little glitchy there. I don't like that lock up. I feel like you just might as well just like hit the ground at that point. Yeah, drop it, buddy. I thought that was a car engine. Was that a suitcase? Oh, nice. Snowball action. Looks like you can get some uh, four-player action going in on this game, which looks like that could be a lot of fun. Um, you know, the movie and the comic has very much got like a buddy kind of hangout feel to it, so... Uh, I feel like it would be more beneficial to play it with a group, you know. And it's the same, but I think with any beat-em-up game, uh, Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, anything like that, I just feel like it's better play with your with your friends. 
Well, friends, speaking of friends, I'm going to wrap this video up here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this has been a really cool game. Uh, if, if you're into that, like I said, retro side-scroll kind of beat-up type thing, definitely check it out, especially if you're a fan of the franchise and the, and the movie. Um, because I feel like this works very well. Anytime I play like Spider-Man, you know, it makes me want to go watch Spider-Man, and then I want to read the comics, and then after I read the comics, I want to go back and watch another movie. And um, Oh, cool. This, I guess these... Are, oh, and uh, Kendrick, definitely I can tell from that character right there, that's got to be her. Oh, no way. Uh, very suggestive, this game as well. Oh. Alright, pay back my late fees. Let's we'll say yes. Oh, not enough money. So is this wind? This thing is full of money. Can I just take that inside and, and get some stuff? Oh, weird. Anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, so, once you get home and out of the snow from your bus ride, and you're nice and cozy inside your apartment, where you sleep on the couch. with your cave roommate. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, go ahead, download this game and have fun playing it. You're gonna, you're gonna really enjoy it. I guess you can, oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hop off this yet. I guess you can check out all these different stores. Hold on, let's see something here. Dude, hold on, so I'm gonna check out, let me check this out. Oh, okay, cool. So, right, hold on, hold on, I got a few more seconds here. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Buy some nachos. I got some money to buy nachos. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's do the um, burrito grande. Okay, now that's really cool. All right. Hop out. And just go here. Kick some butt, you see? Fuel up a little bit there. Really go to town. All right, now that's that's really cool. All right, guys. Again, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, look for more videos in the future. We're going to be coming up on season two of Rob's Arcade here pretty soon. And as always, I thank you for hanging out, listening to me ramble on while I try to concentrate talking to you guys and playing video games at the same time. Until next time, don't forget, don't spend your quarter anywhere else. And have a great 8-bit day, guys. I'm going to continue gaming. Talk to you later. Peace.